Hey everybody, welcome to whispersinink.net. I'm Jennifer, and in this video, we're going to be talking about care and reasons why you want to have both your chamois and your stamp and scrub in your tool arsenal. Oh, you guys, we don't think about these things, right? How do we care for them? Why do we have them both? Well, here is the reasons. First off, your chamois. I'm going to walk you through a couple of things. Now, normally it comes to you and it's purple, my favorite color. However, no worries when it ends up like this because it still works. This is my original chamois, as you can see. It's I've had it for a while because this is the um, Share What You Love DSP. And I did even, I got all fancy on mine. I, I used the Make a Difference stamp set because, you know, we have to pretty up our stuff. But anyways, easy way to store these is the clear cases. They come in a four-pack. Um, you can use, there's plenty of other reasons why to have this. Share with a friend or this is great storage for your paper pumpkin stamps, whichever. That is the chamois. Now your stamp and scrub, all right, your stamp and scrub is paired with your stamp and mist. This is and was my only tool for cleaning my stamps for a really long time. But I now know the benefits to having both of these items in my tool arsenal. I primarily use my chamois for my photopolymer stamps. However, I do use this for my photopolymers, particularly when I'm using red ink, you guys, because I wanna make sure to try to get all that red ink off. Doesn't always happen. We know that about our photopolymers. Even if they're stained, they still work fabulous. So don't sweat that. Now, for this, even on, and I can show you on this one, this one's been loved so much. You guys, I've got cows in here, and there's a bow right there, and there's more cows over here, and then there's some words here. No worries about that, okay? However, I do have a tip for you that I forget a lot. A tip for you in regards to having to wash your scrub less, all right? So when you stamp, there's always, we can get, what, two, three, maybe even four generations out of one ink, okay? So when you, I stamp this once, and normally I would just go clean it on here, but all of that residual ink ends up on this scrub, you guys. So the tip is, Take this, stamp off a couple of times so that you can get the ink off or the majority of the ink off and then go ahead and I just kind of, oh, then go ahead and you can get it cleaned off just like that. Now that you got this stamp set is from the Ridiculously Awesome stamp set, by the way. Now, cleaning, okay? Cleaning this, super easy. Take it to your sink, go ahead, rinse it out, wring it out, rinse it again, wring it. I usually do it a couple of times. And you want this wet, that's kind of the point, right? Because you want that little bit of wetness to be able to take all of the stuff off your stamp. I keep it in this case because this case helps it stay a little bit moist. However, if you know that you're not going to be using this for a while, snap one shut because it will leave that open like that a little bit so that you don't get that, dare I say, kind of funky spell smell. I haven't gotten that, but I do craft almost every day. But let's talk about cleaning your stamp and scrub, all right? I usually take my take your pick tool and I start at this little thumb spot here and I lift it up just enough to get 
my finger in it. Nope, and that one just popped right out. Normally, you have to bend it up a little bit to get it popped out. And then this one, same thing. Get your finger in it, and you can see it's starting to lift up a little bit in the middle. Help it along, squeeze it together, and then you won't break your little latches here. I have one that has two broken latches. But that's, that's as easy as it gets. Now, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. We love our fur babies, and there's going to be fur in there. But let's talk about cleaning this, okay? You guys, this is not for the faint of heart. And I'm going to put this paper under here so that you can see. It's probably been about two months since I've cleaned this, and I don't do as many in-person classes as I used to, so it's normally just me, but, oh, that's just awful. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about for residual ink. Do you see that? That is, that's yucky. And that gets on your stamps, you guys. Super easy to clean this. When I do, what I do is I take this to, again, take it to my sink. I use warm water, not hot, not cold, but warm water. Rinse it, rinse it till it runs, starts to run clear. Sit it up this way so it'll drip down. And then I end up rinsing it at least one more time, if not two, depending on how long it's been since I've cleaned it. You guys, that's just me. Oh, nasty. So, super easy to take this apart. It's, it's equally as easy to put it back together, and I'll show you. You bring this back in. You take this. You squeeze it a little bit this way to get it underneath those clips, and that's it. You're ready to rock and roll all over again. So, any more tips I have? Yes, don't be afraid. I've seen that some people have bleached these. To me, it's super easy just to run it under the water. I've been asked about throwing this in the washing machine. I've never tried it, but I wouldn't want the laundry detergent, let alone fabric softener in here because the whole point of the Stampin' Mist is to clean off all those oils that we don't want in our ink. So I guess you could put the chamois in the wash, but then you'd have to clean the chamois again. So that kind of doesn't make any sense to me. However, one of the things about the Stampin' Mist, okay, the Stampin' Mist versus the chamois or, oh, dare I say, baby wipes, or dare I say um, any sort of other cleaners. You don't wanna do that because that's how your stamps get dried out, you guys. The Stampin' Mist actually has the um, cleaning solution and the um, conditioners in here that our stamps need. Now, keep in mind, our stamps are made in the United States, you guys. And I'm proud to say that. I love being able to look at my stamp and know that it was made here in the United States. Anyways, great way to clean this. And oh, you guys, if you haven't cleaned yours in a long time, wait till you see how yucky it looks. Woo! Happy cleaning, you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. If you, um, I would love for you to subscribe to my video. And don't forget to hit the like button and make a comment because I do comment back. And don't forget to check out Whispers and Ink on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. I hope to see you next time and have a great day getting crafty. Bye!